Hello friends, my name is Ann Pryor. I'm a Lovitude Soul Painter and I've enjoyed Pete and Learning Strategies products for the past 20 years. And this is my dear friend. Hi, I'm Risa severson Kazmersky. We are business partners and friends and I too have enjoyed Learning Strategy courses over the last several years. I would like to paint for you today. My artwork is called Lovitude Soul Paintings. I was inspired by our friend who passed and I use ink on plastic and I blow with my breath. I also use essential oils of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. And so I will just begin painting for you today. So here's what's happening, friends. I get messages about the color that I pick up, and I'm getting blues as a container to hold uh, the communication messages to the purple that's of highest uh, connection, and the yellow is new beginnings in light, and the pink is filled with love. And so the image that comes is the energy that I'm hearing and feeling around me. I normally don't paint in silver, but I got a message to paint in silver. Silver is, of course, a reflection of the heavens and the earth. In addition, it's the cord that connects all of us. I was um, told to paint this way through my friend Irene after she died when I asked her 
for her insight and help as she was passing. And through my learning strategies work and personal development, including Paul's courses, I mind map, Risa and I are future mappers from Masanori Kanda and Dr. Paul Sheely. We have opened up our channels to be able to receive these messages. This piece, I just got the message and it would be understanding grace, understanding grace. Risa, do you want to just say a few words about the messages that you put into your book and how this came about? So this story goes back a few years when our good friend and colleague died suddenly after being diagnosed with cancer. Three weeks later, she was gone. Um, and so once that happened, and actually when she was in hospice, one of the things Anne did was um, to ask her if she would please send us messages. And so she asked her three different times. Uh, once she died, for the first year after she died, um, through a lot of uh, self-reflection, personal development, spiritual development, I started accessing the messages that she was trying to send from the afterlife. And they came through dreams and channeled messages and many different experiences I went through to develop my own channel to be able to receive the information. Uh, so after a year, um, after she was gone, within a period of three weeks, Anne and I both received messages from our friend Irene who passed. And um, the message that I got was to take all my journals I'd filled and turn them into a book and to bring the book out to the world. And the messages Anne got three weeks later um, through the same medium, uh, the message was that Anne was to begin painting on big sheets of plastic with ink uh, and her breath. And so the first time Anne tried that, she almost passed out because she was just blowing across the page. Um, but and so, you know, a, a year after Irene's passed, we get these messages. It took Anne three months to believe the message that came in because Anne's not an artist, was not an artist, did not call herself an artist, and she couldn't figure out what the process was. Um, but three weeks later, messages, more messages came from her that got her introduced to people who use this kind of ink, and so she began. And today there are over 2,000 Lovitude soul paintings. And you'll notice as Anne's painting that she does not judge anything that comes out uh, you know, in the process, and that Irene has communicated to us that the souls are lined up waiting to be painted through Anne's breath. Mm -hmm. Thank you, friends. Enjoy.